America's favorite foul mouthed teddy bear is back. And this time, taking on the small screen for Peacock's original new comedy series, Ted. Now, in it, fans go back to 1993 for a glimpse into the beginnings of that very unique friendship between bear and boy. Take a look. Look, you have trouble taking off her bra, she's gonna know you're a virgin. Really? Trust me, all right? Now take it off. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. You gotta work for it. <laughs> Actor Max Burkholder plays Ted's partner in crime and uh, John Bennett. And Max joins us now. So, Max, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yes, Thanks for having me. Of course. Listen, I love Ted. I love that foul mouth bear. It is hilarious. So I'm so glad that you guys are going to turn this into a series. So tell me a little bit about this show because it's the prequel to what we saw as Mark Wahlberg's char character, yes. right? Yes, it's the prequel. It's set at a time when Ted hasn't fully done his evil work and corrupted John yet. There's still He's still got like a little bit of a shot of not turning into a degenerate. But <laughs> we see a lot of the firsts, you know, first time... Uh, uh, like they're trying yes. to take the bra off, yes. first time smoking weed, yeah. you know, first prom, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hello. Um, so here's something too that I, I want to know, and I love the bra scene, by the way, mm -hmm. which is which is fantastic. Um, let's talk a little bit about the bear itself. Yes. It's CGI, correct? Uh, hmm. uh yes. right. sorry. Uh, yes, it is uh, CGI. It was kind of wild right at the start because you're acting with empty space you're looking at nothing you're looking into the void uh, but after a few weeks you start being able to like hallucinate him on command like if I wanted to imagine him somewhere in the studio right. I could see him basically just running around doing his thing right how was that as an actor because I don't think people realize when something CGI and you're looking down yeah. and there's multiple scenes where I see you even just at a dinner table and you're looking down that had to been pretty tough you're like okay how does this how's this gonna it's work it's tough it got wild especially because like okay so the bear is supposed to be right here and seth is over off camera over in this direction yeah. so i would direct my line here he'd say it from over here and then i would try and direct it not yeah. where the bear is but where seth is and that happened a lot over the first few weeks that That's was talent that just that, shows you how talented <laughs> you are <laughs> Thank so you let's much. talk a little bit about seth mcfarland yeah uh, I know that you've worked on Family Guy when you were young, which I think that's hilarious. At, at like five Way years too old, young. <laughs> five on years Guy. old, saying jokes that shouldn't come out of my that's mouth. That's okay. Yeah. That's what makes you who you are today. It's true. Uh, I heard that he personally called you for this role. Yeah, I mean that never happens. Yeah, it's, it, it was wild. It really like threw me off guard a little bit. Yeah. Like normally you get like a call from your agent or a producer or an executive, something like that. But I was just sitting alone in my apartment. I get a call from an unknown number. They say, hey, is this, is this Max? And I, I was like super indignant. I was like, uh, right. yeah, who am I speaking to? Yeah. And he was like, it's uh, uh, Seth McFarlane. And I was like, oh, oh, like, oh on. my God. Oh yeah, yeah, hey, 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 what's up? <laughs> and you know, he said, he said that he wanted me for Ted and I was ecstatic. Incredible. Yeah. Wow, what a moment. Uh, let's talk a little bit too with your cast. Yes. I heard that you were able to go to New York, spend a little time with the cast, which I'm sure is great just for team bonding and all that good stuff. And yeah. then you also had the bear with you because we have a couple of pictures of this. Yeah. I wish I was on this trip with you guys in New York. How fun. It was really fun. Yeah, they sent us, yeah, there we go. They <laughs> sent us, uh, production sent us life-size Ted things. You know, because like we said before, there was nothing there when we were acting with him. It was empty space. So they yeah. sent us those so that we could get used to talking to him. Yeah. How big he is, how fast he might walk, how slow he is moving around. My strategy was I uh, taped my phone to his forehead and just FaceTimed people like that for three months just so I could get an idea right. of where I should be looking when I'm talking to him. It seems like Ted is living the best life ever. People were buying him shots. People were giving him <laughs> cigarettes. I, you know, well, this took one for, for the Ted. team. I took one for the team by taking the ones that were meant for well, him. Well, yes, of he, course. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, I'll take this shot. Yeah, Don't worry about yeah. it. Oh, God, suffering. Yeah. I love it. Well, um, best of luck. I think this show is going to be huge. So thank you so much for joining us on